Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're camping sort of under a bridge next to a river. I'm not sure what the working title of this video would be, but you already have seen it. Yeah, it's actually been a while since I've been in a tent, so this will be a nice change. Anyway, let's get to the spot. Okay, so I'm entering some woodland quite close to where I live. And uh, the reason why I called it camping sort of under a bridge and kind of near a river will become clear. Um, so I've been doing a lot of work on this forest, so a lot of the trees are down. But uh, sure, here we are. So it is just down here. So this is the area I was talking about. It's quite nice and tranquil now, actually. Uh, the ground is a little bit boggy, but I think we can make it work. Um, so obviously this is the bridge I was talking about, and obviously the river I'm talking about. Um, I've checked out this spot before when I've been walking Benson, and this area used to be a lot more dense. Um, I'm assuming it's more just the time of the year. Um, but yeah, let's see where we can pitch our tent. Obviously occasionally the water level must come up here. So I just found a, a very old shoe made by head. I thought they only made tennis rackets, but there you go. There's a little spot here under these trees, just uh, where I saw that trainer. It's not bad and it's kind of covered from this side and from the bridge. Um, obviously there's a, a uh, path on that bridge, which you've seen me go over many times in my videos, but it's not well used. So not too many people will be coming down that way, um, but we'll go along. I don't think we can go underneath it. I'm pretty sure it's fenced off, but we'll have a look. I've actually been looking forward to this video because as much as I enjoy some of the crazy kind of challenge type videos, uh, obviously I've been in an emergency bivvy. I've been in a terrible tent from eBay that got me wet. I've been in an emergency survival tent. Uh, my last proper tent camp, the tent was crap. After, before that, so I'm kind of like, this one's just gonna be a nice, a nice easy camp. Just looking forward to a easy, nice life, easy video. Should be pretty good. Um, I'm actually thinking there's a guy on the bridge watching me now, but I'm just gonna pretend I don't see him. I'm kind of thinking maybe I could go underneath this bridge. No, maybe not. See, I feel like I could maybe go under here. Oh my God, you can get under the bridge. Well, well, well. This changes everything, doesn't it? Oh wow, look at this. Well, this is good, isn't it? One thing I would say is, uh, I think it might be a bit of a drinking spot. What do you think? If this area wasn't such a dump, I would have considered it. But we can push on. There's also all this crap. It makes your fire pit, what the hell was that? Oh, it must have been a mattress. Jesus. And then a, a heart made out of stone. Isn't that lovely? How romantic. Oh, this is good though. I like it. I like it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see where we end up going. I'm kind of in two minds what to do. Do I camp directly under the bridge? Or do I camp over there? In the rain, potentially, with a view of the bridge. So I could always camp under here in another video. Decisions, decisions. Okay, so I looked under the bridge. It's definitely viable, but we're not going to do that this time because I'm going to do that another day with no tent. I think that'd be more fun. So we're going to do the piece of land next to the river near the bridge. That's not a very catchy title, but 
whatever it is what it is so i'm going to go back to the spot where i saw that shoe and we'll get set up there it's really a debate now do i want to be seen from the few passers by on the bridge on this side or do i want to be seen by the few passers by in the forest this side i can't really hide from both sides so i don't know my gut feeling is this side this is what my gut is telling me if i go up here a little bit yeah this might do i'm kind of tucked in yeah you know what sod it this will do this is what i mean i don't think these guys have clocked me but if they look back they'd see me standing here oh well it is what it is okay so today with me i have my old faithful highlander teeny tiny tent but the teeny tiny tent i fit in not the teeny tiny fit tent i don't fit in are we clear good i'm glad we're clear Okay, we've got her up. I've also brought one of the poles from my tarp, just so I could just uh, gerrymander that thing up like that. Just in case there is a lot of heavy rain, at least then I can still cook. Well, I'm not really cooking a lot tonight, but I can boil water and stuff under here without getting soaked. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I've just got to put my, put my uh, ropes. What am I trying to say, Craig? Spit it out. I need to open the air vents basically, I need to peg down my ropes to open the vents, but apart from that I'm pretty much done. There's a massive swarm of midges just coming around me now. I mean it's to be expected because we're next to the water, but I hate these things. I absolutely fucking hate these things. I've maybe said this before, but Nicola and I trekked the Wicklow Way years ago, years and years ago, and none of us really had a clue what we were doing. And we, we got up really early, we were camped near a waterfall, and we got up really early, and the mizzies were everywhere, and they were literally covering all our arms, our faces. And we were just like batting them off and getting everything done. Instead of just sleeping in for an extra hour and waiting for them to go. But anyway, I'm gonna finish getting set up, and then we can have a little relax. Just my regular cheapest chips, foil mat, got my air mat, that isn't smelling particularly great. If you saw my last video you'll know that a lot of my equipment got absolutely soaked and uh, this sat in damp, in its damp bag for about a week before I took it out. Um, but yeah, well. I've also got my trusty little camping pillow which I love. Had to wash this too. <laughs> Is it also got soaked? I worried about it because I was like, will this thing spring back into shape? But it actually, uh, actually fared okay. And then a sleeping bag, which suffered the same fate. It got pretty wet, but it was drier than the rest of the stuff. So I was like, oh, it should be fine. And then I smelt it and it literally smelt like a homeless person's underpants. It was disgusting. Not to generalise homeless people, that's actually not very nice. But you get what I mean, it didn't smell good. <laughs> and of course, how did I not tell you about the most important thing? If you saw my last video, you'll know this is my new favourite thing I own, which is my little magnetic folding camping chair. I absolutely love this thing. Um, this has actually changed my camping experience a lot. It's only a chair, but see just the joy of being able to sit down without getting back pain. It really just cannot be overrated. So, somehow, ignore the ambulance. Somehow, while I was recording this segment of showing you my equipment, I didn't notice these bunch of kids just loitering under the bridge. Now, the funny thing is, in this situation, I feel like the weird one. Not the kids drinking, like, I don't know, cheap cider and vaping. 
But I'm the one that feels like a dickhead. <laughs> ah, lovely. I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to hear because we're hitting rush hour traffic and there's a lot of traffic going by. Maybe the camera isn't going to pick it up. Maybe this bit needs subtitles. Who knows? But um, yeah, it's a little bit early for dinner yet. So I'm just going to relax with my trusty Pepsi Max. Not sponsored. Wish I was. Um, I'm going to watch these kids underage drink under this bridge and relax for a while. It's uh, quite funny sitting here at the minute because the odd person will go over the bridge and um, I'm just thinking to myself, they're looking down at me thinking, what the hell is that weirdo doing in that tent? All the while there's a group of people under the bridge drinking. Well I'm assuming they're drinking, maybe they're just fishing, who knows, maybe they're doing something wholesome and lovely. but. I saw one of them throw a bottle into the river, so I'm assuming not. But it's just weird to think that people up there think I'm the weirdo when really the weirdos are under the bridge. Another thing, these midges are eating me alive right now. I'm just trying to pretend it's not happening. Those kids are right next to the water. Surely they are getting eaten to death. Or is it just me? Do they attract, do they, are they more attracted to people over 30? What the hell's going on? Oh, they're so annoying. I must remember to have uh, jungle formula or something on me next time because obviously now with the time of year the midges have become a bit more of a problem. Thought I'd go through some of the goodies I have for today. So we've got crisps. What the hell? Why are they so dirty? I took them out of the bag briefly so I must have put them in the mud. But anyway, uh, sriracha mayo crisps, hand cooked in Norfolk, God's own county. I'm only joking, I'm biased, that's where I'm from. But anyway, dinner, which is this um, like sweet chili noodle wok pot thing. I feel like it's just a pot noodle in a wider pot, but we'll guess we'll see what that's like. We've got Skittles, but big fat squishy ones. I can't remember if I've tried these on camera or not, but whatever. Then we've got a twirl, which was part of an Easter egg I got. It's April 1st, so it's literally Easter Monday, guys, in case you're wondering. I've got dolly mixtures, because I'm weirdly obsessed with these at the minute. I do not know why. I've got some water. That's pretty self-explanatory. That's not particularly exciting. I've also got the return of something I had somehow completely forgotten about. Coffee bags. Proper coffee in a bag. No mess, no fuss. I had these in my first group of videos, and then I just completely forgot about their existence. So we've got some of them. And then lastly, I've just got a sandwich bag that has my little UHT milks, some tea bags and the other coffees and stuff. So yeah, that's all my snackies for this evening. As you can see, a broad range of terribly unhealthy options as per usual. I really need to get back to making proper meals, but it's just the effort sometimes. And I was just having a low effort, low effort video day today. So maybe next time. Oh Jesus. Right guys, just show you a bit of a overview of where I am. Um, this is the other side. So obviously you can see my camp just there. If you come around this way, you can see such delights as B and Q. <laughs> a hardware store for those who don't know. Over here is a hotel. <laughs> Exciting times. Let's uh, take a wee walk to the uh, water's edge and see what we see. Um, his kids are still there, but I don't think they give a shit about me particularly. Um, it's kind of grim actually back here because you really see how much just shit has um, washed up. Um, it's actually kind of sad really. Um, what's the thing I was going to say? Oh, it's so much rubbish, man. It's so depressing. 
what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's been a year um, since I started put, when I put my first video up. My first upload, I think, was the 2nd of April. Today is the 1st of April, so when I'm editing this and potentially putting it up, it marks a year to the day since I uh, started my YouTube adventure. Um, this ground is absolutely horrendous. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Thanks everyone for joining me on my silly midlife crisis travels. Um, I think I said in the last one, but I've actually got over a thousand subscribers now. And that's in no small part thanks to you guys. And obviously, now that I'm monetized, I earn money from said views, which maybe isn't a lot, but it's enough to keep me posting videos. So that I am very grateful for. Okay, we're right on the edge now. It's quite nice actually, isn't it? Um, I can see a duck, which I think you can. But uh, it would be lovely if I could camp here, but the ground is awful and also it's so boggy. But no, oh, this is nice. There we go, home sweet home. Now let's get some dinner on the go. Rain is starting to fall slightly now. Not a whole lot. Tell you what, I'm glad I didn't decide to uh, camp under the bridge. <laughs> that would have been very awkward. I wonder what they would have done. Would they have just carried on or would they have buggered off? I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of kicking a fence currently. Jumping on and off the wall, I don't really know. I know everyone was young at once, but I'm kind of like... I don't really understand what the hell they're doing. Whatever they're doing doesn't look particularly fun. But whatever. Ah, let's get this thing on the go. We'll get some water boiling. We will check out our noodles. I have no idea how much I need, so I'll just fill this thing right up. I don't know. There we go. Right, let's see what these noodles are. We've got sweet chili chicken noodle things. Noodle wok, apparently. Um, so yeah, let's see. Like I said before, I feel like this is just a posh. Like a tarted up pot noodle. Let's just top that in there. So we don't lose it. It's in this thing, but I don't really... How much was to take this off? Let's just pull off, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I was making it more complicated than it needed to be. So there's like soup base, uh, sauce, I don't know what kind of sauce it is, a little packet of dried vegetables, and then the noodles in yet more plastic. Lovely. Now, I just realised something. I have scrunched up the packet and not read the instructions. But I am just gonna boil the water and just fire everything in and just leave it for a bit and stir it. What could go wrong, eh? Oh! The rain's getting reasonably heavy. Um, I am out of the worst of it because I'm under this tree. I am still getting a bit wet. And, um, oh no. I've lost some of my soup face. Oh well. Um, Unfortunately, the kids are also out of it because they're under the bridge. So. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm working with. Um, so we'll just wait for the water to boil and then we'll pour it in. And I guess I'll add the sauce in at the end. But 
Look at that, proper gourmet stuff for me, eh? The uh, water is pretty much boiled. Oh, that's covering the lens. So I'll turn that off for now. Another funny thing that's happening is the kids are wolf whistling. Now, I don't know if they're wolf whistling at me, but the more embarrassing thing is, is they did it while these people were walking over the top. So if they heard it, they're just gonna look down and think I'm wolf whistling at them. <laughs> now, there's probably some sort of fill line I'm supposed to pay attention to, but I don't see one, so I'm just gonna do that. See what this noodle pot is like. Doesn't smell too bad. I mean, really, it is just a glorified pot noodle. Kind of like I feared. But we'll see. This fork is tiny and isn't really going to do the job. No idea. You know what? I'm just going to drink some of it first. <coughs> oh, wow. That's quite a kick to that, actually. Christ. No, it's quite bad. It's, nah, it's not too bad. It's quite a kick to the sauce, which I didn't expect. Um, but yeah, it's okay. I need to let this cool down a bit because I'm going to burn myself if I try and eat these noodles. Let me see. Oh, it's like it never ends, isn't it? But anyway, another fun thing is watching these kids. They're like throwing stones around or something. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Little amuses the simple, but the good thing is I would normally be watching a YouTube video, but I'm quite content just watching these guys. And because of the rain, the majority of the midges have gone away. Still a few, but not enough to be annoying. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll watch the free entertainment, will we? guys it is currently um, quarter to eight um, it's we've got about another hour of decent light to go I believe um, but yeah the kids have moved on although I hear something I've heard a few things smash so they might have just moved from here and just gone up there where the slope was um, but yeah my noodles were spectacularly average, um, wouldn't get them again, but they filled a hole and that's the main thing. So now really I am just kind of waiting for it to get a bit darker because, uh, well I don't know really, I have nothing else really to do. Um, might make some coffee soon, I'm really excited to have coffee. I can't believe I forgot about those coffee bags. I went on and on about those things for ages and then just didn't get them again for months. <laughs> I always moan about how bad the coffee is. I would get like the little sachets, the little handy pick up and go things. And then I was just like, hang on, coffee bags, you moron. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, just killing a bit more time until we have coffee and snackies. So I'm currently working my way to the river's edge because the sun is starting to set and it's starting to look pretty nice. I'm not sure if that's coming up on camera as nice as it looks in real life. Maybe you'll be treated to a lovely time lapse of the sun setting over the river. But if you don't see that, then I wasn't successful. Maybe I'll just show you what I've got regardless. Made my coffee. I'll tell you something. Oh, it 
is so good to have proper coffee again. Oh, that is fab. The last proper coffee I had camping was probably when I brought the little mini uh, cafetiere when I camped in the abandoned petrol station and I had the coffee I got from Disney World. I feel like that's the last time I had proper coffee, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I've also got a Cadbury Twirl, which is essentially just a flake with chocolate around it. I'm not going to bore you with testing that. Cadbury's chocolate is Cadbury's chocolate. We've all had it. Uh, but yeah, I've, uh, I think, oh, I think the boys have gone. I don't know. Can't hear anything over there now. Um, I'm not sure if I caught it on camera or not when I was setting the GoPro up over at the riverbank. I could see them. But, uh, yeah, not too worried. There would have been a time where I'd a bit anxious about that, but they're just kids. I, don't, I just do not care. It's like I keep saying, I think the kids would be more scared of me than I would be of them, even though there was like six of them. Like, what they're going to do. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee and relax and wait for it to get properly dark. Despite all the traffic noise, this is actually quite relaxing here. It's a weird mix of birdsong and uh, the ambience of the traffic. I think it might actually be quite a relaxing night. So it's about half past nine now. No, tell a lie, it's ten to ten. And uh, very dark. It's not too cold though, it's not too bad. Um, you can actually see the golden arches of McDonald's. I'm pretty tempted to uh, walk over there if I'm honest, but I'm not going to. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure if I went the other side of this bridge, I could then go up and go all the way along and go there and come all the way back down again. It'd probably take me about five minutes, but no, Craig, no, have some self-control. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to get into the tent soon. Um, maybe eat my crisps, have a wee cup of tea, but other than that, it's been pretty quiet and uneventful, which is just the way we like it, really. But anyway, I'm going to try some of these kettle sriracha mayo crisps. And I've got my tea in there. Because who doesn't want a cup of tea and some sriracha mayo crisps? What a great combo. <laughs> okay, sorry about the light. This is uh, as good as I can get, really, with a couple of torches. I don't want to put the big light on because I'm still a bit visible from the road. Alright, let's see. Oh, well, these actually smell pretty good. These are like the kettle crisps, are like the proper crisps. Mmm. Mmm. These are fab. Mmm. They're more sweet than spicy. I know they're good. See? Good old Norfolk crisps. Can't beat it. Okay guys, ignore this frightening lighting. <laughs> it is nearly midnight. That is after midnight, it's 10 past 12. Uh, I'm gonna get to sleep soon. Uh, I'm up way later than I thought it would be. But I was just going, getting up for one last pee, setting up the cameras for the night time and all that. There's a faint drizzle now, so everything's getting slowly wet. Um, but I've got everything into the bag now and it's underneath my little makeshift canopy. I'm just going to leave that like that. It's not a terribly cold night, so I think I'll be okay like that. If it really starts to chuck down badly in the night, I can quickly take this pole out. It's not too much hassle. I'm going to leave my chair here. It's in the one mostly dry spot we have here next to this tree. But other than that, guys, that's about it. I will uh, yeah, see you inside in a second. Alright guys, I am in the tent, all cosy, not quite in the sleeping bag but I'll get in there in a minute, but yeah, um, you might be able to hear the nice pitter patter of the rain on top of the roof, nothing more relaxing, 
But that being said guys, I am going to go to sleep. If anything interesting happens in the middle of the night, I will be sure to pick up the camera. But otherwise, I will see you in the morning. Ah, good morning guys, it is like quarter past six, I'm up a bit earlier than I wanted, um, didn't have a fantastic night's sleep, um, nothing to do with the tent, or anything like that, once I got in and lay down I realised I was very very slightly on a slope, just slightly slanted, only slightly, but it was enough where I just felt like I was constantly going that way, which meant my air mat and everything's all kind of just crooked and lying at one side. My air mat's also deflated quite a lot, which is strange. I've never done that before. Um, so yeah, a bit of a bit of a crappy night sleep-wise, but oh well. And I could have been slightly warmer. I kept the door open. Uh, as you would have seen last night, and probably in the middle of the night, I was thinking to myself, oh, I probably should have closed this up, but whatever. The main thing was the slant. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to wait for it just to get a little bit lighter, and then I'm going to get up and make myself some coffee to wake myself up a little bit. Oh, oh okay. It is chilly now. Yeah. I don't actually think it's that cold, it's just, it's just misly rain. Ugh, so everything is just a bit damp. Nothing, nothing major, but enough to make putting everything away a chore. I still maintain, despite the traffic noise, this is actually quite a relaxing spot to sit in. Ugh. It would be even better on a clear night. I would love the uh, time lapse to have been starry, but oh well. The problem is because there's so much light on the bridge, it's hard to get a proper night sky, but oh well. <sighs> I'm going to drink this coffee and then get out of here because there's not much point hanging around now. Well, as camps go, that was definitely more one of the more relaxing ones, um, especially compared to what I have been doing recently. Just, uh, just uh, oh, let me pull that bit. But yeah, like I say, it was nice to do a a zero jeopardy camp, shall we say?
That is us packed away. That's my spot. Nothing left behind. Let's go. I say let's go, but I'm actually gonna head underneath this bridge because I'm just curious to see what those young kiddiewinks were doing last night. Um, I had a quick look under the bridge yesterday, so we'll see what's changed. Not a whole lot has changed. There's now plastic cups here that weren't here before, and um, whatever that is. Anyway, I think that's about it. I think it's time we went home. I've checked out under the bridge. <laughs> I am satisfied. <laughs> My curiosity has been piqued and satisfied, so we're all good. Now I really am going home. Ah. All right, guys, that's gonna about do it for this one. Uh, hopefully you liked it. It was a lot uh, slower paced and pretty much zero risk, this one. Um, but yeah, um, if you enjoyed, Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.